Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about vehicles and what levels of trim you can buy them at. What features do you get at what price and is it worth it? Today's example is a 2015 F-150 Platinum Edition. The stock F-150 is $26,000. This is a loaded one. It went for $56,000. What do you get for thirty dollars Well, the obvious thing here is you get four doors instead of two. And you get cool running boards. And in this one, of course, you get four-wheel drive. You got a differential in the back, rear-wheel drive, and you also have front-wheel drive drive shafts too. Hiding up in there. And as we go inside, of course, it's a much nicer trim. It's all done in leather. And it's got a fancy Sonio stereo system with all the entertainment. A gigantic dual sunroof. For safety, you push the 360 camera. You got a 360 degree view when you're parking. You're worried about parking a big truck, you can see everything. You don't have to worry about anything. You start moving, there you go. You see the actual road around you. Comes in real handy when you got little curves like this that you want to miss and it has a redneck dream power window in the back so you can throw stuff into your bed while you're driving down the road although with the extra doors in the back it's kind of harder to get back there to throw stuff so you got to have better aim than in a regular pickup truck where it's right here it's a lot further back times change people must evolve and as before I mentioned it's got the great four-wheel drive whatever you want to set it up to all done electronically and of course it's got power outlets all over the place you got 110 here, 12 volts. And they didn't forget the passengers. Go in the back, nice heaters. Has the same set up here. You can get 110 volts. And heated seats too. You can see even with a seat fully back. There's plenty of room here, plenty of room. It's very spacious. This isn't one of those trucks that has the back seats as an afterthought where you're cramped in there. There's a lot of room in the back of these things. Hey, this is the perfect redneck limousine. You can be sitting in the back and tell your chauffeur just realize when you do get the extra cab and stuff this particular one you can see it's got a smaller bed it's not a full-size bed it is a shorter bed well i guess if i was paying fifty-seven thousand bucks for a pickup truck i wouldn't want to ruin it by actually using it for work you don't want to ruin this beautiful platinum tailgate though i do have to say for thirty thousand bucks i'd expect more than just a single exhaust i want at least dual now in the case of this 2015 f-150 platinum is it worth thirty thousand dollars more I don't think so, but the soldier who just bought this used paid about $30,000 for the whole truck, not just for the extra bits. To me, it makes a lot more sense buying a loaded vehicle used. You're not paying the giant premium. You're saving money. So why not splurge and get a premium one versus an economy version? And we're soon gonna find out if you got a deal or not by plugging in my scan tool. See what it says. Reads it fast, modern vehicle. We're gonna go through everything. So these computers are worth their weight in gold. Got a whole bunch of good greens, but it's got some reds too. So let's look at some of the reds when we get to them. The running board control module, well, who cares if it's got a little code on it. Power steering, that's a little more important, so let's check that. Crazy communication codes, invalid data received from ABS, and battery voltage was low. You did buy this used, they sit a long time, a lot of times they have low battery voltages, they trip a lot of codes that mean nothing. We're gonna reset them all before we go on a road test. It also has codes for the audio system, yes, they're computerized too. Chime input, who cares about that nonsense? I see this all the time in modern vehicles as they age they get all these crazy codes for stuff like chime in the audio system as these higher level trims get older they get little glitches stuff you don't really care about full system scan that was fine now let's check the live data here forge are cool because they got these self-diagnostic systems key on engine running it's gonna do all the tests itself as you can hear it's running the engine, it's chewing tests all by itself. The computer is running all these tests. You can see the engine's being revved up by the computer by itself. Take a little bit of time, but it gives you a lot of information. I lean it down like it's supposed to as it performs tests. And it did all the tests and found nothing wrong, which is great. Let the machine do the work while I sit in the heated comfort as it snows outside. The live data stream, all the information. This even shows you that the active grill air shutter is actuating correctly. That's in the front so you get better gas mileage. 
uh, so it has less airflow or more airflow when you need it. It also goes to show you, unless you have a machine like this, you can't seriously work on modern cars. So if you have a guy and you're just paying him to say, check out your vehicle. If he does not have a machine as good as this, go to somebody who does because he's not going to be able to check everything otherwise. But let's go through faster and you can see how much information there is. As this is a Ford EcoBoost gasoline direct injection, dual turbocharged engine, you have to understand this information and be able to access if you work on it. I do. I have a machine like this. So you pay a guy like me to say, is it a good car or no? I look at all the information and decide yay or nay. I look at all these no errors and normal data that I understand. I say this vehicle's in pretty good shape. Of course, I got to road test it. Now right off the bat, sitting there and drive stop smooth as can be not a shake as we take off easy to steer and for a truck it's got a pretty good ride I like the old pickup trucks I'm used to as a kid now being a used vehicle I can see yeah it does slightly pull to the right the alignment is off a little I know the roads around here so it does need a front end alignment but it's no big deal really it's just off a tiny bit all the sounds are normal you do hear a little bit of tire noise but that's because this has very aggressive four-wheel drive drive tires on it and they always make those sounds now i have to admit i'm not a big fan of these v6 dual turbocharged gdi engines they don't hold up like the old v8s i also have to say they do have acceleration as we're going to find out as we get around the curve here we'll punch it and see what happens and yes, it does get up and go. No arguing that. Of course, the four-wheel drive, you can ride around the fields all you want. Other than the slight pull to the right, it's in really good shape. It's nice and high, but yeah, it has a decent ride. Overall, this truck is in excellent condition. So what have we learned? Maybe you want all this luxury, but maybe you don't want to pay $30,000 extra for it. Maybe you just want to pay $30,000 for the whole thing. Why not get it used? Because when you check this one out, it sure doesn't look used because it's so certainly wasn't used as a work truck. The tailgate is still in perfect shape. There's no paint, no dings, no nothing. So if you want luxury trim, do like Scotty does. Get luxury trim used. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Don Busted Knuckles says, I got 2000 Jeep Cherokee. I watched your videos. I looked at an over and a hundred dollar tool. Seems only to be checked and reset stuff. Checked out the $330 model. Only shows you a few features available on my Jeep compared to what is on the tool. Does that mean my Jeep doesn't have that much data going to the computer? Yes, that's exactly true. The modern cars have better systems, have many more things in them. That an over tool can check all kinds of stuff on a modern day Jeep. Your 2000 Jeep doesn't even have that stuff and you're not going to get as much capability that's 21 years old you're only going to get a certain amount of data from when it's that old i mean if you got a 30 dollars scanner years ago it might work perfectly fine for the data that you're going to need to get it's not going to delve that much further into a 2000 because it's only got a certain amount of capability you need a better computer but with yours yeah you probably better just stick with what you got you buy that 325 dollars scanner it's a great scanner mechanics use it i use mine all the time now it's probably overkill for you and you won't get that much data out of that particular Jeep. If you're planning on buying a new one, you definitely need one. But the old ones, not really. Hip Hop 59 says, Scotty, can I use Trim Restore from Turtle Wax on headlights? Well, Trim Restore is more for trim, which is usually black at colors and stuff. For an absolute clear thing, what you want to use is the ones that are made for headlights. Do like I do, and this is the absolute best. There's a company out there that makes a product called Plexus. P-L-E-X-U Yes. It was originally made for the old jet aircraft for their canopies to keep it nice and smooth. It was made through the military. And I use it on motorcycles, on headlights, and what it does is it's a plastic polish that polishes the plastic and coats it so the ultraviolet rays don't ruin it. The main reason you see those babies getting foggy and cracked is because the ultraviolet rays of the suns destroy that clear plastic. Bad enough when you got plastic on the outside of the car that looks bad because the ultraviolet rays ruined it. But headlights are perfectly crystal clear and you easily see when they start fogging up but this plexus stuff works even better comes in a spray can and it's not cheap it's generally like 20 something dollars a bottle but a bottle is going to last you years and years and years and years and years i got a couple bottles here and i've had them for years and years and they still got a lot left in them because you only need a little and you polish it all up the other advantage of it is it's an anti-static so it actually keeps dust and dirt from collecting on a lot of the dust and dirt gets on your car because static electricity tracks it in and that neutralizes plexus it's a really good product i've been using it for years i always had to buy it though the company never 
never gave him any free. So you'd think one of them would have watched it and give me a case free, you know, but no, I just bought it. But what the heck? I got two bottles. I've had them for a decade. So it lasts a long time. You can use any kind of plastic. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.